Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assemble my floral gift card holders. Included in this set is this 5x5 card with gift card holder, along with an envelope and two stickers. You'll also see this smaller gift card holder along with an envelope again, and two stickers. And lastly, you'll be able to make these gift tags, which you can also use as blank note cards. This is a very simple design to assemble, but there are a lot of pieces. If you've figured out all the pieces on your own and you just want to skip to assembling, you can go down to the description below where I have all the different cards timestamped. Once you download the design folder for these cards, in the main folder you'll see three folders, one for each card type. And within these folders, if the card has a fold line, you'll see one folder marked No Scoring Tool and a second folder marked Yes Scoring Tool. And this is for Design Space users. If you do not have a scoring tool, you can use the files in this folder as they are and your fold lines will be cut as dashed lines for you. If you have a scoring tool, you should use the files marked Yes Scoring Tool. For beginners, I should mention there are a couple other steps you'll need to do to prepare your file for cutting. It's just changing the fold lines from cut to score, and if you're not already familiar with this, you can watch my video on fold lines that I'll link below. I won't go over each and every file here because there are quite a few. They should be pretty straightforward. For the larger 5x5 card, I've split it into two folders where one contains the pieces for the card itself and the second contains the envelope and stickers. For the smaller card, I've done the same. One folder will contain these pieces, which is for the card, and the second folder contains this envelope and the stickers. Now just one thing I wanted to point out for this file, there is an extra piece here and this is if you want to create a blank note card without holding a gift card. And then lastly, this is what you'll see in the gift tags file and once again I've included this extra piece here so that you can create a blank note card rather than a gift tag and I'll show you how to do this when I'm assembling these. For materials for these cards, you'll need double-sided tape and white glue along with a small paintbrush and a small bowl to dispense the glue. And just a tip for when you remove these intricate pieces from your cutting mat. I tend to do this just out of habit as most of you probably do as well, but for this project especially, run a knife or your spatula underneath as you pull your paper off the mat. And this will prevent your paper from ripping. Sometimes parts of your design will stick more than other parts and if you just pull freely you will rip your paper so make sure you do this part slowly. So let's start with the 5x5 five five card. Here is my cutout and this will sit on your bottom piece like this. But first we are going to make the folds. So fold this piece like this then fold your back piece. And here is a card I made earlier without folding first and what happened was when I went to fold after gluing the two pieces together, the fold caused this buckling in the back piece because it stretched out that backing. So pre-folding is absolutely crucial because you're essentially stretching your paper out beforehand. Now with our pieces folded, these two will attach like this and rather than just gluing them together, which you can certainly do, I'm going to tape my two pieces together first at this top corner. And this way when I glue them together, I don't have to worry much about alignment because the tape takes care of that for me. So place a small piece of double sided tape on this corner. Align the two pieces together, then hold them both down while you remove the backing on your tape. And now these two are stuck together and you can apply your glue. For the glue, just gently dab small amounts all over. No need to cover every square millimeter here except for the edges. Mm -hmm. 
make sure you cover all the edges fully. And I'm just going to do this floral side of the card first. And then gently bring the two pieces together. And you can flip them over to see if your edges are aligned, and if not, just gently nudge them. Next, glue on this back piece. And now we can leave this to dry while we assemble the part that holds the gift card. Here is the gift card holder, and the first step is to make all your folds like this. Then you're going to cover these two side flaps with glue. And then lift the bottom flap onto the glued flaps and press down. Now a quick check to see if our gift card fits inside, and it does. Now let's attach it to the large card. And back to the large card, now that it's dried you can make that center fold again. And just do it nice and slow to prevent any chance of your paper buckling like I showed you earlier. And now all you need to do is decide where you want to put this gift card holder. You can place it here on the left side or here on the right. I'm going to place mine right here and I'm going to use double sided tape for mine. So just place a few pieces of tape like this. Then just peel the backings off. Now here one thing you can do is place a piece of tape down first and I find this creates a stronger bond. If you want to make 100% sure that this holder won't come off, I would use glue instead of tape. So then just try to center it and then press down. As you see here, it's a pretty good hold as is, but you could put a piece of scotch tape right onto the gift card and tape it down to the card for extra security. And next, let me show you how to assemble the envelope for this card. So here is our main piece. I'm using cardstock for my envelope because that's all I have. If you have text weight paper, go ahead and use that. Envelopes come in all weights. The higher end envelopes, like for weddings, tend to be made with thicker paper, but most of the time envelopes are made with text weight paper, so just go ahead and use whatever you have on hand. So starting with this piece, first make all your folds like this. Then bring your other three pieces over and you'll notice two of them are exactly alike and these will be your side pieces. And this third piece will be the bottom piece. And now I'm going to cover all my side flaps with glue and attach the three pieces. This is pretty straightforward, just align edge to edge, corner to corner, and then give it a good press. Mm -hmm. 
and then repeat with the other three flaps so you end up with this. Next we're going to glue these together like this. So here I place my glue on the bottom flap, but you'll see here I make the mistake of placing glue in the center part, which should be left unglued because the two side flaps do not sit under this part. Once you've applied your glue, you're going to bring this bottom flap up to attach to the two side flaps. And here is where I realized my mistake, so I'm just rubbing the ex excess glue off, and you can keep doing this till the glue is dry. And now your envelope is ready. Now we can place this finished card in our envelope. And then for your envelope sticker, you have two choices, the heart or the flower. As you can see, the larger set is for this large envelope and the smaller ones are for the small gift card holder. And you can use either tape or glue to attach these right here. But if you're using cardstock for your envelope like I did, you're going to want to maybe glue down the envelope to close it. And that's it for our large card. Next, let's assemble the small gift card holder. Here are the two pieces you'll need. This floral piece will go on top like this, and you can flip it if you want. And the first step is to make that center fold. Just a reminder here to make sure all those tiny cutouts are pushed out and removed. There are a number of them here. Then take your second piece and make your folds like this. And notice this bottom part is the same as the gift card holder we just made for the large card. Once you have your folds, flip this piece over and we are going to attach the floral piece to this side. For this piece again, just like the large card, I want to make sure I have perfect alignment, so I'm going to first attach these two together with a piece of tape. And I'm just going to double check that I'm going to be placing my tape on the correct corner. Then attach your tape, and if your tape is a little bit bigger than your paper, you can cut off any excess tape. Then, just like the large card, align the two pieces together, hold them down tightly together, and remove the backing on your tape, and then attach the two pieces. And now we can open this up and spread our glue on this underside. And here I'm just dabbing glue onto the center parts, no need to cover every square millimeter but make sure to completely cover the edges with glue. Then press down. And if the alignment is off, just carefully nudge it into place. And press to make sure you have full contact. And we can leave this to dry for a few minutes. Then to finish it off, we are going to glue these flaps together, just like we did with the gift card holder for the large card. If you want, you can take a scrap piece of paper and just slip it behind here to make sure there's not glue back there. Now let's set this aside while we work on the envelope. And here is my envelope piece. Again, I'm using cardstock paper, but you can use text weight paper for this. For this piece, notice one of these tops is sharper than the other. You want the sharper one to be at the top like this. Then make all your folds.
And now because of the mistake I made with the large envelope, I'm going to place my glue on these side flaps. And just do a quick check to see how far the overlap is, then apply your glue. And I am applying my glue along the edge of the bottom flap as well, just to make sure the edges are glued down. Here I'm doing one more check to see where the overlap is, and I'm adding more glue where I think it's missing. Then bring your bottom flap up and attach. And you can use a paperweight to let this dry. Now you can go back to the gift card holder after it's had time to dry and carefully make that center fold. Then insert your gift card, include a note, and place it into your envelope. And you could use the small stickers to close this one. And again, you can use tape or glue. And here, I just want to quickly show you that you have an option in your download to do a blank card with no gift card holder. And that will be these two pieces here. And these will attach exactly like the gift card holder. First, make your folds. Then they will attach like this and then you'll have a nice blank note card. I like having these for quick thank you notes. And finally, let's work on our gift tags. So here we have one floral piece and two backing pieces. Notice one of the backing pieces has this little hole in one corner. So for this one, you'll line it up with the hole on your floral piece. And this will give you a hole to put string or ribbon through like this. Or you can use the backing with no hole and you'll have a simple blank note card. So this one is very simple. I'm not going to tape the two pieces together like I did with the other cards because this one is so small, alignment will be pretty easy. So all we need to do is spread your glue over one side of the floral card. Now, of course, if you're making the card with the hole in it, make sure you're gluing the correct side. Then if you hold the back piece between three fingers like this, you could get this floral piece to align pretty perfectly with the bottom piece. Then just press down. And now you can just loop your ribbon through. And if you're making the tag with no hole, it's the exact same process. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy making these cards.